Here we go! Yahoo! It's a me, Mario! The only thing about people commonly mishearing instead of let's go, they thought he was screaming Mexico. I know Mexico! I, I know I did as a child. It's like the Captain Falcon, show me your boobs. Hey, look, it's about getting hammered. <laughs> Saturday, bitches. You know, I'm waiting for the update where the thing next to uh, her is like, they changed the color of it, making it look like some type of fruit juice or something to shut all that shit down. Yeah. She's having whiskey on the rocks as if I was getting hammered. Oh yeah, we have a good mailbox now. Which leads to, if I remember right. Could we have always done that? No. Oh. No, we couldn't. I can get my mail anywhere now, by the way. Sorry, could you put the mailbox inside your house? That, I actually don't know. Good question. You're asking a legitimate question I don't have an answer to. I've never actually... We also really need to clear out... Okay, I think it has to be- okay. Oh! That actually reminds me! Opening my inventory, I completely forgot about something. What? And I- It was some dialogue I wish I had recorded. But the interesting thing about the mailbox, because of that, I can move the mailbox, so like, it can be right here now. And it's away from the house, which I think is hype as hell. And it doesn't move. Which is interesting. So, like, I could get mail here, or I can put it back. I would honestly just leave it where it is, because if you can't, if you can't move it, that means it has to always be facing forward, right? That's probably close enough. Yeah, I would just leave it there. Because it, I'll make my point in a second. Oh, I'm just trying to. I just. I'm just seeing in the different spots where it fits. So I think to get it in front of the... Okay, I'll That's just... Good enough. I'll just drop it back. I wanted to show that. Okay, so back to this other thing we need to do. So, I have a blue present in my inventory. Sometimes villagers will ask you to deliver gifts, but I got it so late in the game, they said to deliver it tomorrow. So... It's, that's when I was off-camera grinding. I just did... The person who wanted the item delivered was Willow. She wanted it delivered to Gaston. So let's just get that before we do it. Are there houses right next to each other? Yeah. You lazy... No, asshole. you see, she had a fight and she was too embarrassed to walk over here. Deliver. Definitely not porn. Not at all. <laughs> See? Didn't reckon we were on speaking terms with everything and all. F fitness tank. Why not try it on now? That actually looks really good on him. <laughs> Okay, we can go back to what the fuck we were doing. I like red and yellow mixing, and he, he has that brown and the stuff, so it's like he actually looks pretty good. In the a weird thing uh, about him is because the bottom half of his body is brown, and to me it looks like he's wearing pants. Kind of surprised they didn't do shit like that with more villagers. Or, you know, possibly finally give your villagers the ability to wear pants, but uh, then they remember there are chickens in the game and, you know, sheep, and no one wants to model that. Yeah. 
Nice. Oh, let's go deal with. Oh, she's happy. Oh. Let's go deal with the Abel sisters and the whole KK Slider thing. Oh, get the items and shit, and then we can start placing some nonsense. So, I mean, we didn't record early, but on a Saturday, I don't mind recording late since KK Slider doesn't show up. And while I was grinding, I got a bunch of nonsense. Because that's like a home transfer one we forgot to claim, and popular pen pals for the letters. So, there we go. Okay. Uh, how are you doing? She was going after a bug. Or like I said, Ozzy Stupid is rubbing off on them. KK Slider should. Speaking of his stupid. What? <laughs> Farewell. Which song is this? Aren't you supposed to? Yeah, you have to take a seat. Farewell. I got it. Secret song number two. What song is this? Because all the secret songs are, are something from earlier games in the series. Which one was Farewell? Okay. Christ. Trying to... Animal City is the city music from City Folk. I forget what Farewell was. I think Farewell is, um... I think Farewell is a Wild World song. <laughs> Cause I know the final one is a hidden piece of New Leaf music. <laughs> the final one is a song in New Leaf that is now an official song you can actually get cause a lot of people liked it. <laughs> I forget what Farewell is, I'd have to double check that. I just wanted Farewell because the three secret songs are only available this way. Every other song apparently can be bought, except the birthday music is only given to you on your birthday, and the Welcome Horizons main theme is only given to you when you get the three star rank and do his first concert. So, to get what is essentially the five hardest songs, we need to request these three, have a three-star rank, which we've done, and it needs to be my birthday. Meaning, after we get the hidden music, we can go back to requesting songs we're missing. And that will be really cool. I just wanted... The reason I decided to prioritize these when I realized these are 100% request only, I was like... We kind of need these. They're too important. You can only get them Saturday nights. Mm -hmm. This is the only time you can ever get this music. You have to request it. Yeah. How the hell did he slip that in, in during the middle of the show? Okay, let me claim my... Oh, yeah, off camera, and I wanted to point it out. And this is just really funny because of my dumbass luck. 
So, off camera, while I was putting some fencing and reorganizing, I got two violin beetles in like five minutes. We'll, we'll donate one, sell the other one. I'll go to the Evil Sisters and stuff too. So, I, these trees down so that, you know, you don't arbitrarily go over that tree limit. I'm not cutting a tree until I Okay, plant can I at least cut the one that uh, it had money on it down? No, I'll cut the one. Oh, oh I'll cut it in a second. Let me. Oh, let's just go ahead and plant the money tree since I found them. So, I wanted to explain violin beetles a little bit more. Because of how I found it, which was funny and kind of dumb. So, the way I found the violin beetles, I was just grinding, putting some fences and reorganizing. And I was just walking past random stumps at like 2 in the morning and I found one. And then I was like, okay, they literally can spawn all day. I just got stupid unlucky. But it seems like because I was looking around at night, violin beetles spawned better because the spawning pool at like 3 in the morning is microscopic. Most bugs stop existing by that point. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, hold on. I can deal with the Able Sisters in a minute since we're... On a Saturday, I wanted to see... Oh, it seems that Rose tip was bullshit. Unless that tip literally only works on black roses spawning gold ones. We'll have to see when we get there. Go do the thing. I'm about to. Hey, but in, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter too much. I mean, I get roses and hybrids and stuff eventually. Because the tip was, and this seems to have been edited for clickbait to trick people, where it was a video about how to easily get gold roses. And in the video, they were growing roses, and they were like, every Friday, if you grow roses and water them on a Friday, which we did, he said Saturday morning, they will 100% be rose hybrids. But it seems like that was just clickbaity nonsense. Or, like, the, the, it only applies to black roses, because blacks are the only way you get gold roses now, right? Black is the only way to get gold roses, but you need the gold watering can, so... Mm. To be spawning... Oh my god. Because here's, the, again, the dumb part, in case people forgot. I need black, purple, or blue hybrids to get the peacock butterfly. And the peacock butterfly goes away... Very, very soon, and then it loops around, so if that becomes something I miss, I'm missing it because I'm missing hybrids, though a solution for that, if we got lucky and I do an island tour, sometimes we'll do an island tour that naturally has hybrids on it. Okay, just go. Wait, what are these then? Go to the Evil Sisters and we'll... Get some other shit organized. I'm at a point where I might do an island tour and just see what we get. Because I need rare hybrids, and because of the way hybrids breed, as I brought up, setting them sideways like this does result in basic hybrids. Because you've seen over here, I get pinks over here all the damn time. And that's because 
of the whole, like, hybrid flowers. And you've seen other results, so that works. It's just, for pure flowers, you need to do the one arbitrary breeding. But let's drop by the Able Sisters, buy some clothes. Check the May Day again. That'll be cool. Well, that thing in the window, it's that right there, so the clothes in the window are clothes that... <laughs> the photos behind me, they're of me and my sister when I was younger. And our parents. They both passed away years ago, but these pictures bring back a lot of good memories. <laughs> I was pretty young when they died. Oh, they finally used the word. Yeah. So I don't remember them all that well. What I do remember is Sable doing her best to raise me all on her own, thinks this. So it was such a pain. You feeling okay, Mabel? what happened to calling me Gravel and making fun of my apron. <laughs> Come on, sis, I'm trying to have a moment here. <laughs> this dialogue's great. Not like we ever talk about this stuff without Carter to play referee. Don't be mean. I'm sorry, that was out of line. And you're right, we should talk more. You're an adult now, and I need to treat you like one. And I'm really proud of you, Mabels. You're a lot of things I could never be, little sister. I took care of you and Mabel when you were younger, but now we can all watch out for each other. And when the Able sisters work side by side, there's nothing we can't do. So, Mabel is the youngest, and then it's Label No, Label. La Label is the youngest. Uh. These two are twins. Uh. Well, no. They're all twins. I mean, no, they're... wait. No, wait, not twins. They, they're... They're all triplets. They're triplets, mm -hmm. but technically, I believe Label was born last. She was born first. She's mm -hmm. the middle sister, and then they're... Oh, I feel so oh, bad for your porcupines. Pushing that out has to be an experience. Hedgehogs! Same thing. No! No, they are not! Rumba dress. Oh, fireman. Steel toe boots. I'm gonna be a fireman! Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Uh, but you don't have the outfit. Who needs the outfit when I can wear a rumba dress? <laughs> Anyone remember Burning Rangers? Of course you don't. It's sold like dick in America. No, wait, it even sold like dick in Japan. I need to open those gifts and stuff. A two at the edge, I'm gonna gift to people. There's the antenna and uh. <laughs> Oh, I was looking for those. So like how the hell do you get oh, <clears throat> How the hell do you get the Dodo Air airline stuff? Oh that's a nice jacket and let's just see what the Oh, cool. Hold on. I think you get it mostly at random from like flying and just periodically. So, speaking of, figure out about Mayday and turn in some fossils and stuff. Wait, now that I have that antenna and stuff, I should drop that and check our ranking. I really should do more island tours because I need. Well, we're in May now, so can the shark island start spawning? Or... No. Oh. That's June, and that's close to when that one butterfly goes away. 
Meaning, before we stop today, I might do an island tour. Is my fruit garden that? Yeah, it looks like it. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So, anyway, how many of those random bullshit videos did you actually fall for? Because when the game was new, a lot of people were basically lying and creating fake videos to gain a lot of traction with all of these supposed tips and tricks that were basically complete and utter fabrications just because these people wanted a huge spike in viewership and they basically created scenarios that seemed legit but all they did was either A, hack their game, or B, jump around at different points in time by messing with the system clock. And then they would make it appear as if what they said was accurate, when in reality, almost all of those supposed tips and tricks videos were complete and utter bullshit to generate clicks, meaning these people were creating clickbait. And I did fall for a good few of those videos because they really did look legit. It's not like they looked suspicious because, like I said, these people were either A, hacking the game with a modified switch, or B, jumping around to different points in time by messing with the system clock, which would let you easily create a false video. And in doing so, you could easily trick people into thinking what you said is true, even if you're lying, which annoys me. And several of those videos all ended up being fake. Only a few people actually had good, legitimate tips. And now that we are years removed from those first fake tip videos, I want to know how many of those you fell for because a lot of those seemed convincing. But anyway, you can leave your thoughts, opinions, and answers in the comments. Or you can leave them on social media. All of my social media links as well as my Discord links are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shill for a minute. If you subscribe to the channel and if you follow me on social media, that really helps our communities grow. But anyway. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope I will see you all next time. So, as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, everybody. I hope you come back someday. See you later.